Hi, this is a video for the unboxing of the Wahoo speed and cadence sensors that usually fit it on outdoor bikes. So this is to track the cadence and the speed cyclist is riding at. They're meant to be easy install items and no magnets are required for this. As you can see in the pitch on the box, the speed sensor is usually fitted to the axle of the front wheel um, and the cadence sensor is usually fitted to the crank arm of the pedal. You can fit the speed sensor on the rear wheel, but it can become a bit tricky with gears in the way, so it's easier to fit on the front wheel. The sensors are app-friendly um, and can connect to common apps like Wahoo, Element, Strava and Zwift via Bluetooth. They work for both Android and Apple products, and I must add that the sensors are ANT Plus compatible, which is also highly useful for people who already have existing beat of, uh, pieces of kit. Um, so let's go ahead and open the box to see the contents. So you can see here about the sensors, that's the speed sensor and that's the cadence sensor. On the back um, there are sort of mounts to put them on, a couple of zip ties and a couple of booklets. So that's on the cadence sensor, that's on the speed sensor, sitting in the box. And that's just the important product information. So these are the mounts um, that have come with it. So the through is to mount the cadence sensor. You can stick it on the interior. This is actually for the these three are for the cadence sensor, and this is for the speed sensor. So you can either just use um, this 3M tape provided and stick it on the inner side of the crank of the pedal, or you could put it in here. It's got holes here for which these cable ties go through. I think this is probably a bit more secure, just in case. Um, this sticky tape fails, I mean outside with dust etc um, it's bound to fail at some point so it's probably better to put the sensor in here, it has a bit of protection this is some light rubber material um, and then just use the cable ties to secure it alternatively if you have um, cycling shoes um, you can put your laces through here um, and put the sensor in here so that's another way to to mount the cadence sensor for the speed sensor it's pretty simple just put it in here, it's like a housed sort of mount with a rubbery feel and this just goes around the front axle and locks like that basically. Um, if you still feel a bit scared that the sensor might fall out perhaps you could put some cable ties once it's around the sensor um, I think the diameter is pretty good in here so it will be relatively tight but you could put cable ties just to make sure it's secure I bought these sensors with the intention of fitting them to my spin bike as it does not have a screen for data feedback. Um, I use mainly Strava uh, for my outdoor bike rides so being able to use these sensors to log cadence speed and eventually distance was why I chose to get these because I could just try and fit them to my spin bike. I'll do a video to show how I fitted them to my spin bike and what sort of feedback the sensor gives me from sessions on the bike. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, stay tuned.